Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click on like and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. In today's video, this is going to be lesson two of the Honeywell 6290W keypad. Uh, again, it also could be Brandon Residio. Today we're going to go over the settings gear. So when you press the settings gear, that gives you multiple choice information up here. So you can do system information, system setup, system Wi-Fi, or display and audio setup. All right, so we're going to start with the obvious one, display and audio setup. I'm going to enter my code. My default code is 1234. Whatever your code is, is what you would enter there. On the left-hand side, you can turn the chime on and off. Uh, you can also turn on the voice mode or voice chime. So if you just wanted to talk to you, you don't want it to ding, you just want to say front door open, you would click on voice mode. Front door open, back door open, whatever zone's open at the time. If you just want chime on, or you want the chime and the voice both on, it'll ding now and it'll also tell you what's open and what's closed. To turn them off, you simply click on the buttons and they're turned off. Over on the right hand side, this is where you would change your language. It's got English and French and Spanish in there. Uh, if you need something else, probably need another keypad. Uh, backlight off after five minutes. So basically after five minutes, it'll start dimming itself. The home page, uh, we'll go back to the home page after two minutes. So let's say if I left it sitting in this screen right here, two minutes later, it's going to go back to the main home page. So you can change that to never 30 seconds, 50 seconds, whichever you want. And the audio slideshow, this goes back to, if you watch lesson one, there's an SD card that goes in the side. You can actually turn on the slideshow so the pictures will start scrolling through um, from your uh, SD card after a certain amount of time. And that way you can have basically a streaming or rolling picture frame. When you're all done here, you either hit the check mark to accept the changes, hit the home key or the back key. I'm going to hit the back key now to get back to the other page. System Wi-Fi, pretty obviously so click on that. And then you can pick your Wi-Fi network, enter your password. That's how you get it online to the Wi-Fi. Back. I'm going to skip system setup for now. System information. This will tell you whether you can enable your remote upgrade, which you want to leave in there. So if they do a software version or, or something like that, it'll actually download the software and update itself. And every now and then, if you have a problem or if you need to call your installer or your monitoring company, they may ask you for this MAC ID and the CRC number. That's what identifies this keypad as being its own. It's basically a social security number for your keypad. I'm going to hit back. And then you've got system setup. Once you get in the system setup, this is where you set your time and date. That's pretty obvious. So you click in your time and your date. Click in your time and date. Click on your time and date. One, two, three, four for my code. And then you can change the time, the date, and the year. Or you can get the time. Once you're on the Wi-Fi, you can get time, and it'll actually pull up the time for you. You check mark when you're done. Saves the settings. CS setup. When you punch in your code, it's not going to let you in here. The CS setup is for the installer. So if you did one in there, when you punch in 4112 for the installer, this is where you can address the keypad. Uh, you can set the authority for who can get in, who can get out, and you can configure your actual security panel from in here. Um, this is not a user uh, panel or user interface panel, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. I might do an installer menu and show you how to do that, but for right now, the CS setup is not for normal users. All right, so user setup, we're going to click on that. The users are basically how many people are in the keypad. You can do up to 36 users on a Vista 20 panel. Uh, user 1 is the installer. It starts at 0, 2 is the master code. I'm telling you that because you're going to need to know that in a second. So I'm going to enter the master code, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Once I get in here, now the phase 1, phase 2, and phase 3, if you remember, um, the P1, P2, P3 from lesson 1, those are different phases. So if you have an office building or something like that, you can actually set an office door to lock so people can arm and disarm the rest of the building but not unlock your um, your one area. I'm not going to go over that right now. Uh, again, that's more for your installer to go over if you set up multiple par partitions. The master code lets you basically do anything and everything, change everything. So normally you don't want to give anyone the master code. You would set up a normal code for somebody. Now the normal code, what you would do is you come in here and enter a digit. So it enters three digits. So the user number would be three in this case. Since we start at two, three, four, five, six, so on, so on and so forth. Hit enter. 
there's no RF button, there's no key button, so there's not a key fob you're assigning them to, so we don't need to put that in there. I'm going to give them a name, whatever, close enough for now for the demonstration. And the user code, I'm going to make it 4321. When I get through with that, I'm going to hit the OK button. And it's saved. So now I've got Reg in there. I should say Greg, but I didn't hit the button right because I'm reaching around the camera to type. So to delete this code, I would basically go up here, hit the X on it, two, three, four, code accepting. Am I sure I want to delete Reg? Yes, I am. Now Reg is gone. So I could add more users now if I wanted to. I'm going to hit the back arrow. And the importance of the user setup is basically if you have more than one person in your house, and unless you're, you know, it's your spouse, if you have a housekeeper, um, people come over to do some work. Let's say you've got to have a plumber in the house and you can't be home from work, but you want to let them in. You got to sign him a temporary code to get in and out of the house. If you have a monitoring company, the monitoring company can actually tell user two, user three, user four, armed or disarmed your system. So you would know who was in, who was out. And they can also delete it when they're done. So the last thing we need to go over in here is the advanced setup. We click on that, enter our code. Once we get in the advanced setup, this is your power mode setup. So basically you can turn on power savings. Um, it'll go to sleep faster, your night setup. Um, when you push night, like when you're arming the system, you can set this up to do different things. So you can set the night mode to just do stay or away. You could do instant or you can do maximum. Maximum arms everything in the house, including the motion sensors. Instant will put you in a stay mode, but leave the, the uh, inside motions alone. Uh, most of the time, don't want to mess with the setting, but that's what it's there for. And keypad reset basically defaults all the settings back to normal. We don't want to hit that right now. So that's lesson two. That's basically the setup gear. So that's everything in the setup gear. As a user, you should be able to get into. Again, if you're an installer, you can get into some other things. But for the most part, users, that's what the setup gear does. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Please click on like and subscribe if you haven't already.